Nana, here's your switch. Bring it here. I'll make do. Okay, let me have it. I ain't no nun. Bend over. Drop your pants and get over my lap. All you have to do is walk away. <clears throat> what are you doing? She's respecting her elders. See, Troy, did you think I was a hypocrite? That I wouldn't really... Okay, how oh, that really... Will you get the door? Oh, she's had enough! Boom! Yeah, let me just clean this side of the table off you, all right? Oh, okay, there you go. See that? There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what do you think of that? See, you haven't learned anything except how to look cool playing pool in shorts. You're wrong, man. I'm just having a good time because I love playing pool. Liar! You think you look cool. Yeah? Well, how cool is this. Oh. Oh. Stop projecting your obsession with clothes onto me as an excuse for when I beat you in a game of real pool. Oh, you wanna play real pool, huh? Oh. I'll play real pool. Now who doesn't care how they look? Me! Shouldn't you be stopping this? Soon, soon. Just gathering evidence. from now when the story's retold all they're gonna remember is one of us loved clothes and the other loved the game our study group to join the Glee Club. Well, I don't know how he thinks that's gonna happen. I'll show you. What? This is just one of the many costume changes I'll be doing during the show. We're shooing for regionals, right? Annie, you too? This is beneath you. You are an intelligent woman. Also, you're Jewish. I guess I have a lot to learn about holiday tradition. 
teach me how to understand Christmas. Show me how to open a box. It hurts my little head when I'm lying in my bed with visions of sugar plum socks. Is this a bit? Teach me how to understand Christmas. Do I trim the tree or the deer? I can't keep it straight. And now it's getting late. Where does the stocking go? Here? I can't see. What's the Christmas Eve? Is that Santa's lady? Are snowmen cold or hot? Won't you be my daddy? I'm a silly Christmas baby. Tell me what to deck. <laughs> Cause I forgot. Annie. Wayne Hoodie understand the Christmas. Mistletoe for Edie taste good? Oh, you smarty, me dumb, help witty, have fun. Boopy doopy doop, boop sex. Look, eventually you hit a point of diminishing returns on the sexiness. What's a diminishing return? What is going on? The the paintball game was 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 starting, and the the then the dean the dean announced the the prize the prize. We we turned on each other like like animals. What was the prize? Was this is not over. This is still happening right now. Ah! Leonard, Leonard, I'm not playing. Everyone's playing. You suck. Come with me if you don't want paint on your clothes. Hey, look what I found wandering the neutral zone. Jeff Wing, you son of a bitch. I thought you were dead, man. I was just taking a nap. Has everyone lost their mind? It's just a game of paintball. Yep, with one rule, last man standing gets the prize. The prize, the prize. What is this prize? You don't know. Priority registration. Priority registration. That's why everyone's running around like a bunch of Does that mean what I think it means? Like you could have first choice of your classes next semester? Easy, sugar bear. But you could schedule all your classes on a Monday and then take a six day weekend. You can do a lot of things. Talking through the hunger, I bet. Every student wants that prize, Jeff. And there's no way to share it, so we'll eventually all turn on each other. But the longer we wait to do that, Jeff, the longer we work together, the longer we last. Is everyone running in packs? The debate team was the first to do it, but they felt infighting. They say the Glee Club has learned stragglers into sniper traps with cheery renditions of hit songs. Really? And people fall for that? I mean, I'm all for winning, but let's not resort to cheap ploys. Are the girls in the game? You mean Britta? No, I don't mean Britta. Did I say Britta? Twice now. Chess Club! He's a pawn. Checkmate, bitches! <laughs> and tell the drama club their tears will be real today.
Okay. You just became my hero. Thank you. No pen. I can see that. Why do you keep taking that tone with me? Oh, I'll feel that, because if nobody else has this pen, it means at some point you realized you had it, and we're too embarrassed to say, and we get to kill you. I'm not hiding my own pen, you paranoid weirdo. Everybody stay within each other's eye lines, please. One of you's a monster. Me next, right? Hold on. Can we please consider the threshold that we are crossing? We don't trust Abed. He shredded my backpack. He freed my pet monkey. Because we corrupted him. He's our innocent. He put gum in your hair. Empty the bag, Abed. Up here, you, you, you don't have a bag? Giraffe. Uh, Jeff, you don't have a bag? Oh, I could never deprive the world of the portion of my chest a strap would cover. Makes sense. So what's left? Shirley, a little hugging and crying, and then we're done? Wait, Abed. Why is my name in here? That's mine. And Shirley's and Annie's. What is it? Charts? Some kind of calendar? That's my personal private business. Annie, four on, 28 off. Next, November 10th. Britta, five on, 27 off. Oh my god, are you charting our menstrual cycles? What? Gross! I bet this is so personal. It's so accurate. I bet this is really creepy. I don't understand why you would do this. I can explain. Oh, I thought you'd keep yelling over me. Okay, I can explain. You know I have trouble reading people and I say the wrong things sometimes, and I noticed it was happening more often with you three than it was with the others. <sighs> And then I noticed fluctuating patterns, and I started graphing them. And by the time I realized what I was actually measuring, it had started to yield really positive results for everybody, so I kept doing it. Were you ever going to tell us about this? I, I feel so violated. <laughs> More chocolate? <laughs> oh! Get away from me! Ava just became my hero. Can I have a little... No! Sheesh. This is true what they say about the sink up. Well, I think this year was awesome, full of good times with great people. Come on, you guys, stop focusing on all the bad stuff and dig deep. Abed, you're a computer. Scan your mainframe for some juicy memories. Jeff and Britt are having secret sex. Exhibit A, the one thing I do remember from Halloween. Hi. Hi. You need some help in there? Yeah, well, I can't use my hands in this costume, so. Well, uh... Exhibit B, something I overheard during Christmas. Why would I want to be in a school that hates Christmas? He's got a point. Kidding. What are you doing later? How about some holiday benefits? Hey, Ixnay in front of Unkin Day. Hmm. And finally, Exhibit C. The curious circumstances following the exciting conclusion of our St. Patrick's Day adventure. Really? Yeah. Oh! Stop it! Uh, uh, we, a, a leprechaun took our clothes. A and you can never tell anyone, okay? Okay, so we hooked up a few times, but there's a much larger issue here. We are friends with a grown man that clearly believes in leprechauns. Okay, Abed, girl in the pink, go. Her forehead hangs over her head like a canopy. Oh. She missed a belt loop and her stomach spills over her shorts. <gasps> Target destroyed! It's called a muffin top, Abed. Like a muffin, <laughs> clever. But you guys said it's rude to focus on imperfections. This is the stuff I'm supposed to filter, right? Uh, absolutely, Abed. It's just kind of a guilty pleasure to hear it about certain girls. Like Megan and her friends, because they're bitches. <laughs> That's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, who needs a soda? I'll get it. I'm making you guys so happy, I want to keep it going. Aww. OK, I love Abed so much. Hey, I know, it's like he's one of the girls. Uh, guys? Uh-oh. Yeah, do you mind not looking at me? I don't know. Do you mind that your face makeup doesn't match your neck? When I squint, you look like a circus clown. <laughs> okay, I beg your pardon, geek. I don't even know your peanut-headed ass. You're right, we've never met. Like your hair and dandruff shampoo. <laughs> Play a Megan service for one. Okay, Abed, let's get back to the table. Yeah, Abed, go with your skank. Or keep going, up to you. Keep going about what? Her uneven bra padding? You look like you're smuggling a lime and a coconut. Go away, loser. Good one. Tell that to the stitching your ratty panties or wear higher jeans on laundry day. 
Damn, that just made me snuff, yo. You know what? You're dead. Get a ball like it. No. No. See ya. Right. Women of Greendale! This cafeteria is hereby declared a bitch free zone. <laughs> oh, 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 Britta Perry, do you know that you hate yourself more than you should and that your passion inspired me? No. That's true. She didn't know. To Miss Perry, I leave my iPod Nano filled with music to take life less seriously by. Oh, that's nice. I also leave you this liquid nitrogen cooled cylinder of my hypervirial sperm in case your lesbian lifestyle one day wears out and you wish to raise an army of geniuses. Shirley, hmm? did you know that you are not only a credit to your race and gender, but to our species, and that I was intimidated by your strength of character and business acumen? Yes. To Shirley Bennett, I leave my spacious timeshare in Florida, where she can take what's his name and however many children she has now. Mm -hmm. I also leave you a cylinder of my sperm. Oh. Annie Edison, did you know that you were always my favorite? You mentioned it once. But... I leave you this tiara, which you once refused to accept. It's the same tiara I used to wear when my mother would verbally assault me for not being a little girl. Also sperm. Jeff Winger, did you know you're gay? No. Agree to disagree. To you, I leave this bottle of fine scotch so that you're less tempted to drink this cylinder of even finer sperm. Abed Nadir, did you know that you were insane and nothing that you said ever made any sense to me? Yep, here's your sperm. Troy Barnes, did you know that you possess the greatest gift life can give? The heart of a hero. And that it's up to you not to waste it like I did. I think to Troy, I leave the obligatory sperm. Maybe it's because everyone else got one, and because it's an old man's semen, but um, I'm kind of disappointed. In addition, I am prepared to leave Troy Barnes my remaining shares in the Hawthorne Wipes Company, currently valued at $14.3 million. Oh. On one condition. You must first sail my boat, the Childish Tycoon, by yourself around the entire world. What? Again with the bait and switch. When I was 23, my father asked me to do the same thing to earn my adulthood and his fortune. Of course, I cheated and floated off the coast of Belize for a year doing coke with John Denver. I always regretted it. I'd like to give you a chance to do what I never did. Become your own man. Okay, I'm a lawyer, Troy. It should be possible to contest these conditions as unreasonable. I'll and do Pierce it. can take his mind games in his sperm and he can put I'll them right- I'll do it. What? Troy? Pierce was a crazy old coot, yeah, but I think he knew something about me that even I didn't know until now. Because he's offering me something I've been searching for my whole life. Millions of dollars. And being a man or whatever he said. Jeff, say something. I'm speechless. Somebody say something. Ovid? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's a lie. Esta es la biblioteca, me llamo T-Bone, la araña discoteca. Discoteca, muñeca, la biblioteca, es un bigote grande, pero manteca. Manteca, bigote, gigante, pequeño, cabeza es nieve, cerveza es bueno. Buenos días, me gustas papas frías, bigote de la cabra, es camarón Díaz. Yeah, boy, boy. Yeah. What? It's 2009. Word. Buenos dias, children. 
You'll be happy to know you made it all the way till the end. You're not even a student! Wrong! Critical media literacy and politics of gender, biatch. Give me your clip. Oh yeah, that would be brilliant of me. Look, you got the drop on me, I lost. Let me do this for you. Crazy if I shot you right now, huh? <laughs> What's so funny, Chang? Maybe it's the fact there's no such thing as priority registration. Or maybe it's this. Ta-da! Okay, starting on my left with one, your number comes up, you go. Just so you know, Jeff, you were not creating six different timelines. Of course I am, Abed. One, Troy. <sighs> Damn it. I'm gonna go as fast as I can so I don't miss anything. Adios. You know who I used to call Miss Anything? Eartha Kitt. Oh, oh, I don't like that. He totally set me up. I'm checking on my pies. No. Bathroom? Yeah, over here. Jeff, tell us about your father. I'm gonna get a drink. Oh, oh my god, are you okay? Barely felt it. Well, let me look at it in the bathroom. Frankie's upset. Did she break up with someone? Which gender? I don't care, but everybody else does. She's upset about paintball. Paint? Ball? Occasionally, our campus erupts into a flawless postmodern homage to action adventure mythology, mischaracterized by the ignorant as parody. Apparently, now that Frankie's declared it illegal, it's gone underground and is still happening as we speak. Well, maybe for freshmen, but honestly, we've kind of done it to death, right? Done it? Nailed it? I won a few times now. No, who keeps track of that? Lame. I'm thinking mostly about Frankie. She's our friend, and she cares about this school. And I think it would break her heart if she caught any of us undermining her goals. Yes. Yeah, uh, agreed. Reasonable no agreement. You're both well, right. Meeting adjourned, I guess. Mm -hmm. This is good. I'm glad we all agree not to do this. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to beat you. What the hell? They killed me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Do anything stupid. Do something stupid. I thought we weren't playing. Is this an alliance? I don't know, is it? What's painful? Cut the crap, Elroy! Stop that! What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Go back to class! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. Why are you playing paintball? No, he's not! Think about it or don't think about it or don't do it. Grow up! What are you doing? I'm not playing. Well, guy who's not playing, you sure are shooting a bunch of mothers. That was instinct. I can't help being a badass, but I am not playing. Okay, so let's make this painless. Take it easy. Drop it. Knock it off. Frankie is coming. What is important to you people? Jeff Weir shot me!
Do I use echolocation to navigate? Why would you ask that after learning you're not a bat? Hello. Hi, Hi Becky. Becky. Jeff, a student just passed by me and said you shot him with paint. Uh, OK. So you are definitely not playing paintball. No. <laughs> Frankie, I've been cool up until now, but I got to tell you, I'm starting to get offended by your suspicion about this. Well. Well is a hole in the ground when you're thirsty. Oh. I'm telling you, I ain't playing no oh. paintball. Hee-haw. Boom. Hee-haw. Bam. OK. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. And for what it's worth, thank you for teaching me the cool new way to respond to people saying the word well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Mm. Bye, Frank. Bye, Frank. Hey, Take it easy. See ya. Will you stop doing that? Don't hate the player. Colloquialisms aside, Annie's right. The thing to hate this year is the game. Can I show you all something? I love blade special blade weapons. Yeah. See that sword? It has two blades. One blade is silver, the other blade is infused with garlic. I should check my messages. No! Guys. We maybe watch a different movie or just stop saying that word six times per minute? What word? Blade. Oh, uh, because of British ex-boyfriend. Can you check my messages for me and tell me if he called? I don't think that's a good idea. What if my mother died? You guys are really talking over Blade. Not cool. Annie, so do your guess. Annie, think for one second. You have my phone and you're not even checking it. What if my mother is dying? This is junkie talk. You just want to know where your phone's hidden. I just want to know if my mother is dying. It's a simple yes or no. I'll cover my eyes. You go check my phone and say, no, your mother isn't dying, or yes, your mother is dying. And then we go back to watching the film. That's right, Britta. It's a banana. Why is there a banana in your DVD cabinet? Read the banana, Britta. You are a lying junkie. I'm sure those words hurt, but you wouldn't be reading them if they weren't true. I am so weak. But we are not defined by our limitations. We are defined by our potentials. I have the potential to watch Blade. You two are bad friends. Bad. That's unfair. What about you guys? Okay, you don't like our movie. We can't say the word blade. There's phones in the refrigerator. Oops. Troy, on this! Let me see if he calls! I have a right to know! You're monsters! You're Hitlers! You're racist pedophiles! You're the opposites of Batman! You don't know what that means! You still think the lock was overkill? No. There's phones in the refrigerator! It's you. Boys night! I need help reacting to something. Hi! Okay, so we know three kinds of verbs, which took 40 minutes. This rate, if we don't sleep or pee, we can cover about 10% of the exam. And if it's multiple choice, 25% of our guesses will be right. Actually, that's a lot of right answers when you're guessing on almost everything. I don't want to sound like a defeatist, but we're defeated. Oh, oh, yeah. Face it, why even take the exam? We're all going to be retaking Spanish this fall. Uh. What was that? What was what? I don't know. I said retake Spanish, and everyone went, uh, and you went, hmm. Maybe it's one of those recessive genes. I can also curl my tongue. Who else? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Annie read it out, Chang. What? You made this happen because you're obsessed with all of us being together next year. I wouldn't say I was obsessed. Permission to treat the witness as hostile? I'll allow it. <laughs> Did you record yesterday's Spanish class? I don't think so. Abed? You said you record all your classes. Pierce called it a spoiler alert. You heard Chang tell me he was bogus and then dropped the dime because you would do anything to keep this group together because you are insecure. Because you didn't get hot until after high school. That's true. Fine, I did it. For real, Annie? Oh, Annie. Someone make her a dude so I can punch her. Go ahead and hate me. It's better than what was going to happen. We were all gonna drift apart, and you were all too cool to do anything. Maybe not too cool, maybe just, you know, not psycho enough. Yeah, a little crazy. Psycho. 
Now she is going to make the Disney face. Her lip is going to quiver and her eyes will flutter, but they won't ever actually close. But do not feel sorry for her. She stole a year of our lives and we're right to be pissed. Oh, Annie. No, no. Everyone close their eyes. Do it. Close them. I bet close. Oh, don't worry about me. I can only connect with people through movies. She's the Ark of the Covenant. <gasps> Picture her as Paul Giamatti. Ah! Oh, I hate these. <laughs> Friends don't do what you did to us. Did the sisterhood of the traveling pants poison each other's food so they were too sick to leave? No, I've never seen it, but I'm pretty sure they mailed each other pants. I said I was sorry. Who cares if you're sorry? We're still screwed. Be sorry about this stuff before you do it. Then don't do it. It's called growing up. Annie, we were still going to see each other all the time. <laughs> That's what my rehab group used to say. The only one that keeps in touch is the guy that sells jewelry made out of bottle caps. I'd hope that this group would amount to more than passing hellos and whatever the hell this is. Nobody even think about going after her. That's what she wants, more personal drama, so we fail the exam and stay in Spanish forever. We have to beat her. Don't text her, don't call her, don't mention her. We do not need her to study. Does anybody know how to study? Annie usually. Whose side are you on? 